There we go. All right. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk. Let's talk hammer. Let's talk hammer. Yeah. Um, I was thinking we might as well, you know, our our one piece of fan mail. We might as well start talking about <laughs> <laughs> three turns versus four turns. Because I thought yeah. I, I thought it was a good question. Like it's a great question. Yeah. Um and so just just for context, uh we 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 got a we we got an email from from someone who watched the the YouTube video from from Britain, which was really cool. It made me like I never thought anybody other than people related to me would would ever watch these. And so someone from Britain watched this. And so Yeah. Um, and, and it had a great question. He's, he was working with a, I think 14 year old girl, 15 year old girl, something like that. Okay. Young. Yeah. Young girl looked like sent a little video clip, looked like a really great thrower. Um, and just asked the question three turns or four turns, which one's, which one's better when, if, if you want to go four turns, when should you, when, when should you switch over? Um, and it was pretty cool. So in our responses to him, we, um, we made sure we wrote different, like, I didn't look at your response and you, we, we didn't talk about it first. We both wrote our own separate responses right. and then, and then right. sent it to him. Cause I just want to see, you know, uh, how, how closely aligned we were on this one. It was pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you, what, sound, you sound a lot smarter, but you know, I, well, I'm a teacher. I, right. yeah, I got to fill up 90 minutes, you know, that's, <laughs> Um, so yeah, so why don't you, uh, what, so three, three turns versus four turns. Do, yeah. Should we just go with like, what are your thoughts? If you're athletic and well, I'm not even going to say that because one of the problems with the three turn is hitting that first turn. You got to bash the thing. You got to come out of the lines and actually be really active with a sit back. And that's hard to do. So, um, now, and, and we should, I should say we're, we're probably both biased. We are both four turn throwers. Um, so I mean, I, I, but the advantage, you know, when you, when you were saying like, if you're a good at, if you're a good athlete, you could do a four turn throw. I think a four turn ho throw helped me because I was a limited athlete. You know, if you yeah. took you know, you took my, my three rep max in the power cleans. It, it wasn't very good. Um, and so for not being able to, to have that really quick anaerobic burst available to me, take the, having the, the ball of the hammer, take a longer path, gave me more time to accelerate it. So there didn't have to be any big jumps in, in acceleration throughout the throw. Right. And, and so that, I think that ended up helping me as, as a hammer thrower. Um, yeah. Your thoughts. Yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm as, this podcasting. Stuff. I've always said up until just now, well, the better athlete does a four turn throw. And as I was saying that earlier, maybe not because you, you do have to accelerate faster with a three turn throw. And, and it, it there's only one transition from the winds to the turns. So in a way that's easier. But with a forward turn, you get a trans transition from the wind to the toe turn, and then with a toe turn to the heel turn. Um, if you're doing if you're doing a straight toe and then a heel, it, it, or, or if you're a guy like say Andre, Andre Abduvaliev, he just kind of smushed around on the middle of his foot. There was no toe or heel. It just kind of on the side somewhere in the middle. And so there's that part of it, but I just like the idea, A, yes, I'm biased, and B, I like the idea of that extra 42 feet to accelerate the ball. Why right. wouldn't you give yourself that? I think a four-turn throw should be a, is probably more available, or, or you're gonna have better success with more different types of athletes with a four-turn throw. Like a, a lesser athlete, I, I think, a, a, yeah, a lesser athlete has the potential to beat a greater athlete with that extra path that the ball, the hammer is taking. Yeah. Yeah. The other part about the four turn, if you do in a strict toe and heel, um, 
the toe turn, you, you have time to set up the direction of the throw, to see the direction of the throw before you before you start accelerating the ball. Because the toe turn's nothing. The toe turn's just getting the ball out there in front of you, getting ready to hit the hit the heel. And so it does a whole bunch of things. It sets up the radius, it sets up the direction of the throw. It's a, it, it, it transitions the timing of the pendulum into the turn. And it, it's just, it's so much easier in a bunch of different ways. It yeah, adds to the, in my opinion. Yeah, it kind of like sets up the, the like technical inertia of the throw. Like whatever you do in that first turn, if you're nice and long, you have a better chance of staying nice and long with your arms through the whole throw. It's, right. you know, um, if, if you see your target out of the first turn, it's easier to see your target for the rest of the turns. You know, right. if you, if you land, you know, your foot in the right spot, it's going to be easier to do that for the rest of the turns. And like you said, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, you're not really accelerating in that turn. The only thing you're trying to do is set up all that technical stuff for, for the other turns, I think. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, I think so too. I, I used to think, and I used to coach this and I, I think I thought it at some point when I was throwing is the first turn is just another wind, so you don't do anything special out of the wind, and the finish is just another turn, so they're all just winds. Um, but the point of all of that that's that's kind of a whole different um, subject on timing and pendulum. But the point of the toe turns just another wind. Yeah, you kind of don't do anything else other than just wind it again. But you're in a better position to hit the heel out of a out of a turn because the ball's in front of you instead of somewhere back here. Yeah, and I think by by not doing anything else, I always thought there's a tremendous amount that has to get done in that first turn. Just not a lot of it is acceleration and power and and that sort of you know those sort of things that we more traditionally think about like with throwing something far yeah. um you're right. you're you're setting up you're you're setting up a lot of that um yeah. the, the so, limited um and i see loudens here the limited <laughs> times that i did a training diary um the only thing that i ever wrote more than once was in, in exclamation point before it exclamation point after it in capitals do nothing in the first turn with nothing underlined. Yeah. I mean that, yeah. I mean that, that I, I remember thinking the same thing. As a matter of fact, I think when I remember saying to you one time when, when we were working with our coach, we, when I was, when Stuart was coaching me, our coach, I said, I get less negative comments if I think about doing nothing. And <laughs> like, that was my, that was the, my positive feedback that I, <laughs> that I got during practice. Um, yeah. And then as far as uh, uh, transitioning from a three turn to a four turn throw, because that, that was what the guy was asking, when should he transition this athlete to a three turn to a four turn throw? I think it's important to realize that you're adding a turn at the beginning of the throw, not the end. Right. I mean, especially so when, when you're when you're transitioning from a three turn to a four turn throw, the end velocity isn't going to be any different. It, no. You're going to get to that end velocity much easier, yeah. at least to start with. Right. You're you, hopefully you'll find another gear there so you can you can get the end velocity faster. But you're adding a turn at the beginning of the throw on onto a three turn throw you're not adding another turn on to the end of a th uh, on a three turn yeah. throw so it's a it's a little bit like telling a, dra a, a a drag car racer to not go with the green light you know okay you've trained your whole life to wait for the christmas tree and and drop the clutch a millisecond before the green light now don't do that wait yeah. wait for half a second after the green light to go yeah, or it's or or muscularly, you, we're, we're going to ask ourselves to do something really, really hard. Yeah. And, and, but, you know, stick with that analogy. It makes sense if you think, like, okay, so that drag racer, we're, we're, we're going to scoot you back a quarter of a mile and you get a, you get a just nice <laughs> and easy, just like, just kind yeah. of a, 
an ease into the start. So then when that light turns green, you're already going 40 miles an hour. And then you go ahead and hit the accelerator. Let's see how fast you go then. Yeah. Right. Exactly. I mean, that's, that, that's, that's the difference between a four turn throw and a three turn throw. You're, you're just backing up the, the, the drag. Yeah. 